When creating a character, you first need to insert a p your own picture. You do this by going to Insert Picture from File. From here, you're going to have to go into your shortcut to 8th Multimedia folder, into the folder called Photos, and pick your class. Now, For this example, I'm going to the folder Teachers because I'm going to use My Photo. The first thing you'd want to do is to trim off the outside edges. When you click on your photo, you should have a picture toolbar appear. If you do not have one, simply right click on the photo and choose Show Picture Toolbar. I see Hide Picture Toolbar here because the picture toolbar is already visible. The button right in the middle is the Crop button. When I click on that, these white circles turn into black lines. And what I could do is I could simply drag the black lines in and down until all I see is the portion of the head that I need for my character. When I click away, they turn back to white circles. I can then grab a corner and make my head smaller. To create the rest of the body, I'm going to go down to the drawing toolbar, which is at the bottom of your PowerPoint screen. If you do not see a drawing toolbar, you can click on View, Toolbars, Drawing. From here, I'm going to use things called auto shapes. When I click on them, I could use different lines, basic shapes, block arrows, flow charts, stars and banners, and then callouts and action buttons are something that we will deal with later. I'm going to choose basic shapes, and I'm going to use a trapezoid and give myself a nice big football player body. And then I'll use a rectangle, give myself a leg. I could copy a leg and then paste it, put it here. And then I could maybe use an arrow for one arm and repeat that process. And there's my character. Now if I want to clean things up a little bit, I could center my head a little bit better. I could right click on a body, bring it to front so that the arms go behind it. You can reorder shapes by simply right clicking on them, go to order. You could bring them to front, send them all the way to the back, bring it forward one auto shape, or send it backward one auto shape. And to complete your character, you simply double click on it, and you could choose your fill color or fill effects. So fill effects have a nice little uh, effect to it. I can go to texture, maybe add a lovely blue tissue paper for the shirt. And if I want a mul uh, multiple colors, I can hold the shift button and click on two shapes at the same time. Change those to, I don't know, tan. And the pants, maybe I'll make them black. And I'm looking for as most details as possible. I could also add shoes. I could add buttons, a collar to the shirt, even perhaps put a hat on. So don't ignore all these different auto shapes down in here. There's lots of options in here, especially even in the flow chart. There's a delay. You could draw that. Uh, that could either be a shoe, if I make it uh, skinny enough. I just simply copied and pasted it. Or, if I make another one, rotate it and maybe make it a little bit larger, this could be the starting of a hat. And maybe a thin oval. And you can color your auto shapes appropriately. Good luck.